Hello everyone, this is me, Linda. Welcome to Lenny P's Place. I am here today with uh, Marguerite Miller, Collage Challenge. And um, this is Volume 3 that I participated in this year. And I am showing you this now, but um, I'm filming it now. This is before Christmas, but you probably might not see this until after Christmas. I'm not sure yet. Um, I think the last one that I did was, hmm, I believe it was here, CWP 49. That would be week 49. I think was the last one that I showed. Maybe I didn't show it. I don't think I did. So anyway, um, yes, I'm, I have finished for the year, and um, I enjoyed doing this very much, and I am not going to do it next year. But I did want to go and um, finish through week 52 and then do a final flip through. So this is number 49. And um, actually, I think what I'll do is just start at the beginning, and then when I get back here to 49, I mean, there's no point in doing them twice. So, yeah, let's just regroup and do that. So I hope everybody is doing well and that you um, have had a nice Christmas, if I post this after Christmas. If I post it before, I hope that you will have a nice Christmas. So, <laughs> either way... Um, Let's just get to it. So week number one was any kind of transportation. So I have these ladies riding on horses. A library card. I have this Dewey Decimal uh, system card there. A zoo animal is a tiger. Your handwriting is up here. Uh, stained paper is coffee stained paper here. And also, I have some on this side that I uh, stained with, I think, watercolors. And then a sticker is the bonus, and there is my sticker. And here's another sticker, and there's no sticker. Okay, uh, week number two. Uh, your least favorite color, well, that would be orange. A sewing notion would be a needle threader and some thread. Something out of the recycle bin would be the cardboard. A foreign language is here. Laloon mean is a noun. I don't know what it stands for. Um, a tea bag cover is here. Uh, and bonus is fiber yarn or string. So there's the um, string again. Embroidery thread. And that is week two. Number three, something you do at a party, you dance. A fruit is uh, peaches. Anything winter, here's a guy trying to get the snow off his car. Lines are here. The background paper is lines. A shoe, I have two shoes. And uh, the bonus is a ticket stub of any kind. Here's my ticket stubs. Um, week number four, something folded. That's um, my little um, envelope there. Housework, whatever it means to you. Anything in the kitchen to me is housework. Um, an ocean creature would be a dolphin. Um, a random piece of washi tape is here and here. Um, an art scrap is a part of my paper that I have down where I uh, work on things. And um, wrapping paper is here. <laughs> I started to say I didn't have any, but there it is. Okay, um, week five, a doll or toy. Okay, I have a doll here, but there's also a little boy with the 
pale there, sand pale. Sand or stone, well, they're at the beach and they're walking on the sand. Something cold is ice cream. Um, a clock or time is here. A photo is these people at the beach. And bonus is something that came in the mail. Well, I got a package and that's a stamp and all from it. So, um, week six, something that something made from plastic. That's this plastic doily. An advertisement is here. Something from space is stars. Textured paper is here. I um, put some texture paste on here through a stencil. A name in your family is Hannah. That's my maiden name. Bonus is instructions, and here's the instructions on how to make a cup of tea. So that completes that week. Week number seven, something that squeaks or honks. This little angel with her trumpet. Cake is here. Something torn is this piece of doily. A math symbol is up here. And bonus is patterned paper, and that is right here. So I wonder what I had this for. Oh, a pair of something. That's the panty, <laughs> the pantyhose she's wearing. She's wearing a pa pair of panty legs, this says. So there you go. Uh, something that has a plug is a fan. A house is back here. Photo of your family or a family member, my grandchildren. Um, a piece of a letter or postcard. It's a piece of a letter. Um, stitching, real, drawn, or stamped. That's my little s fabric snippet there. And uh, bonus is cursive writing, which is here and there. So, number nine, something that hangs on a wall is a picture. Clothing accessory would be her gloves, her hat, her necklace, her, her purse, a road sign here. A pattern with stripes is this wallpaper. A sticker from a fruit or vegetable is here. And then a bonus is a list, and that's right here. And then the next one is uh, something related to a sport. Well, that'd be football. A gator fence, and here's a gate back here. Need to put some glue on that. Um, a line of poetry or a song. Well, that'd be Sweet Home Alabama, where the skies are so blue. An old sticky note. This is one that my daughter left for me one day when she was here and she went out. Um, something that starts with the letter C. That would be Coach Saban. So. And then, um. Week 11, a cold-blooded animal would be um, butterflies. I didn't know that, but I found out they're cold-blooded. Uh, something you can, you see or do on vacation. Well, you sightsee and you might fly in an airplane. Um, a bit of yellow is the butterflies and the map is yellow and the flowers are yellow. And here's the map. Sheet music is up here, and bonus is a star, and I have a star right there. So, uh, week number 12, something found in a treasure is these things in this treasure chest. There's photos and um, books and papers. Graph paper is down here. And there's a different kind right here. A hand tool is a pen. A piece of scrap art is here from my desk. Um, something you see through the window, uh, birds. And the bonus is keys, a key. This really was fun. I really did love doing this. Um, 
it's nice to look back and see what I did in the beginning. <laughs> I think my the ones I did in the beginning were better than the ones I did at the end, but anyway, we'll go on. Um, light would be the headlights on the car. A coupon or form would be here. Circles. Um, I have circles on my washi tape. Plus, um, I have a circle there. Uh, candy or a sweet treat. I have candy. Something written in pencil would be this uh, right here from an old ledger book. And a bonus is a rubber stamping in red ink, and I put the date, March 28th. A border or frame would be this right here. It's the frame. Um, a handwritten measurement is this right in here that my grandson did. Something with a lid or cover. Um, I believe that was my matchbook that I have in here. Front or back of a playing card. This is the back of a very tiny playing card. A leaf or leaves. I have some leaves there. Bonus is something torn. And I have a piece of fabric that's torn there. Week number 15. Something with fins is this big fish. A person is this little girl. A triangle, I drew my own. A game piece is my game piece here on my bingo card. A date is the 5th of October. A bonus is a contraption, and that would be an electric washing machine. Way, way back. A long time ago. Okay, week number 16, something with a spine. What did I have with the spine? Oh, it must have been the birds. I think they have spine. Made from wood or wood grain. Well, um, that would be the trees. They're made of wood. An illustration is my picture here. A bit of purple is the flowers. A business card is here. A portion of a food or drink label. That would be Luna. Nutrition bar. Uh, something ornate would be the chairs and the scroll on the table and where Mr. Lennon is sitting. A bottle or glass would be um, these cups and, and um, creamer bowl, their glass. An herb or other fragrant plant. I have um, lilacs, I think. Maybe they're, no, maybe they're um, lavender. A line from a poem or song. That'd be, imagine there's no heaven, it's easy if you try. Um, a piece of ribbon is here. I have lace and ribbon here. And I have this tied with a little ribbon. And the bonus is a label. And the label is 1969. Something that emits heat. Chimney. A path or road. There's path. I mean the road. Um, something that splashes. Well, the rain splashing off the umbrellas. A white space is down here. A form blank or field is up here. And bonus is a ticket. And this is a ticket uh, to the launch of the Titanic at Belfast. Wednesday, 31st of May, 1911 at 2.15 p.m. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 19 is architecture. That would be the building. 
Something with wings would be the birds. A bumpy surface would be this um, embossed um, piece of paper. A coin or currency. This coupon is worth 25 cents, so I'm saying that that is um, the currency. Something black and white. Well, um, my photo's black and white. Squiggles I did in black ink, so that also is black and white. Plus, this is black and white. Because this is really kind of a beige color. Uh, not quite white. Okay, we're on week number 20. Something cold is Coca-Cola. It's also three of something. A place is this um, scenic route. Northern Pacific, 1,000 miles of mountains. Okay, a place is this place. Um, an office supply. What do I have for office supply? Do I have one? I don't see one. Hmm. Did I forget that one? Maybe I left that one out. The name of a song, America the Beautiful. Bonus is lined paper, which kind of, sort of, could be an office uh, supply as well as where I stamped the date. That could be an office supply, I suppose, if you want to stretch your imagination. Some of these I can't remember. It's been too long ago. Uh, week 21, a window or door. There's my window. Something stenciled is up here in the corner. Blue ink, it's stenciled with blue ink. A musical instrument is the piano. A postage stamp is here. Brown or craft paper is down under here and across the top. And there's another stamp. People, well, I have these people dancing and I have Chuck Berry. I think that's Chuck Berry. Uh, something that turns or spins is the little record player. Something that starts with the letter G is the guitar. Book page text is back here. A date is here. And bonus is a sticker. And there's my sticker. And here's my sticker. Um, something rough would be the burlap. Something that represents spring would be this little bird sitting amongst the flowers and the flowers down here. Something upside down is my cow. A button, real, drawn, or stamped. I have buttons here. And uh, the bonus is something musical and I have some music paper. Um, anything that blows in the wind would be the clouds blowing the wind. Something written in your non-dominant hand. I wrote the date, June 15th. Uh, something red is the barn. A piece of dictionary page is down here. A picture from a magazine. Well, that's this. It's out of a magazine. And a measurement is the tape across the top. A piece of furniture would be the chair. A doodle is down the side here. Something that makes sound in a pattern. Um, cuckoo clock. And this clock here also. An eating utensil is the spoon. Um, a list is here. And the bonus is an illustration. And that's the little girl there. Um, week 26, so this will be halfway through. Uh, rubber stamping in two colors, that would be my um, circles up here. 
are stamped. A hexagon, and I have three hexagons right here. A face, this is a face. A set of numbers is up here. Text in a different alphabet would be this background text here. And a tall building is right there. All right, half the year's over. And now this will be week number 27. Something found in the garage. Well, let's see, you find buckets, paint brushes, brooms, an art, an art scrap would be here. A path or road. Here's a sidewalk. A flying insect. Well, I got ladybugs and I got butterflies and I got bees. There's some bees right there. A ladybug and a butterfly. Um, a business card is right here. And something flat would be... Um, What's flat? Mm hmm. Um, I must have had some in mind. The roof. The roof is, well, the roof's not really flat, is it? I think that's what I, or maybe it was the fence. I don't know. Something was flat. I just don't know what it was. I don't remember. Um, maybe you see it. <laughs> anyway, um, on this week, we had a map which is here, something blue, which is here, dark, dark blue here, and a dark blue here, the sun or moon, I have both, the sun and the moon, graph paper is behind here and there, something with legs, since the little girl, an image from a magazine is pretty much anything on this page is from a magazine. Um... Typewriter text is that. I typed with my typewriter. Something round is these people sitting in a circle. A candy wrapper is here. Something that's dark, well, this, it's, it's nighttime. Um, a place, they're at um, a campsite. And a short word is, I have it highlighted there. Something that lives in the forest, well, there's uh, a lot of things here. There's a bear, a bunny, some deer. Handwriting is here. A barcode is down here, threatening to come off. Um, a black and white photo is this lady. A math symbol is these multiplications right here. And instructions is right here. Um, translucent paper. I put that over this book page. Something royal is the queen up here. Or maybe she's a princess. A picnic item, well, he has his picnic basket, inspired by a fairy tale, this whole thing, little old lady that lived in the shoe, except she's a, a mama mouse, um, a shoe or shoes is this shoe, something shiny is the gold glitter on the queen's head, and then I put gold glitter around here. So that's my shiny stuff. Over here, let's see. This is week number 32. Fire or smoke. Here's the fire. Anything that starts with a T, that'd be the tiger. Something in a circus or carnival, that'd be these people here. Um, something with a spine. Well, I guess the people, the horses, the Tiger, I think they all have spines. Text in a foreign language is right here. Okay, uh, something in a shape of a triangle, that'd be this mountain right here. Uh, a book page is here. 
Something silver is this chain. Something with a bumpy surface is the fence. Would be rough if you were to rub your hand over it. You'd probably get a splinter. And bonus, a decorative napkin would be the flowers down here. Something fast. It's an airplane. A scrap from a paper pad um, is what these are, are on. This is the scrap back here. Architecture be the house. Text other than English is, um, um, I don't know if that's Japanese or Chinese, but it's one of the two. A flag and tissue paper. And the tissue paper is up here I used as a cloud. A flower. Well, I have flowers here. A postal item is a stamp. Something written in your non-dominant hand. There's September the 1st. Uh, security envelope design would be the back here. That's a security envelope. And lace is right across there. And the bonus is sheet music, which is here. Fall weather, um, well, if you, if it's fall, you usually have to wear a coat, but the leaves on the trees are beginning to turn, so. And then there's a quote, and my quote is, stars are love letters from the Milky Way to the moon. Uh, something that represents time is a clock. Um, stars, there's my stars. Something sharp would be the pine, the needles on this cactus down here. And washi tape, well, this quote is on washi tape. So that is week number 36. Week number 37 is, bon is the bonus was a postage stamp. A bell or bells, something that reminds you of a wedding. Well, she's got a wedding dress on, but also they have a sign that says, I do. And uh, a famous city is um, the um, Jefferson National Expansion Memorial Bridge there. Where's that at? I can't remember. Um you know where it's at. A playing card either side, and that's my playing card. Um, what is this we got? A song name, three blind mice. A group of three, well, there's three blind mice. A gamer puzzle piece, here's a puzzle piece. Something imaginary is a fairy. Foreign language text is here, I think that's German. And bonus is something stenciled, and I stenciled these butterflies. Um, a fragrant flower, that would be, I think any of these flowers here would be fragrant. Something local. This is the Oxford Orphanage um, that is right up the road from where I live, so it's local. Um, an animal with long ears, I have a little bunny rabbit right there. Something that makes you happy, ice cream, makes me very happy and very fat. Uh, so that would make me fat and happy, I guess. Something found in the mountains is, um, what's found in the mountains? Oh, rocks are found in the mountains. And a form is down here. Okay, what we got going here? Something that starts with an H, that would be Hawaii. A travel item is this um, trunk that these two sailors have. Or are they Air Force? I don't know. Uh, bonus is something with stripes, and there's stripes on this trunk. Something messy. Well, I think chickens are messy. Um, they scratch and poopy all over. Um, a ribbon is right here. And this lady's dancing. She's doing the hula. A portion of a photo, 
Well, here's a portion of a photo. This little boy has a picture of his daddy. Something found underwater is, um, well, there's a stingray, and turtles often go under the water. A border or frame. What's a my border or frame? Hmm. I might not have did that one. I don't see a border or frame. Do I see a border? Not really. Uh, something that grows. Well, little boy grows. Turtle grows. Plants grow. Something you can drink from. He brought his thermos in case he gets thirsty. And dictionary page is behind here. So I don't think I did the border. I don't. I think I left that one out. Um, yeah, I think I did. Something with a bit of pink would be this lady's blouse. Uh, money is, he's got his piggy bank. Something you can, something you see in the sky, you see clouds. Something from the post office would be, there's a letter right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. And then something found in a library, books, and bonuses, lines, and they're in the chair. So We're up to uh, week number 43. We'll be done soon. Anybody still here? Hello? <laughs> uh, I'm enjoying looking through this before I put it on the shelf. Uh, something with wheels. Well, here's a wagon wheel. Splashes or splotches. There's splashes of gold paint on here. I don't know if it's showing up. A piece of jewelry. He's got a, he's got a heart on his dog collar. Um, any vegetable would be peppers. Although I think when I put this in here and showed it the first time, I debated on whether or not it was really a vegetable because peppers have seeds, which I think means technically it's a fruit, but most people think it's a vegetable. Uh, ledger paper, I have some back here, and then a stamping in non-black ink. I have the date, October the 28th, I think it says. Uh, something found at a grocery store. Well, we got some ham, we got some bread, and we got uh, tomato. Plaid, this little guy has on a plaid shirt. A paper that has a stain or is stained. That'd be right here off my desk. Uh, a light source would be the sun. Children's book page or illustration would be these pigs. And the bonus is a written measurement. And I have here five and a half by nine written down. My book is getting very hard to handle here. Um, a definition is the bonus, and it's up here, formula. Um, something noisy, well, that could be the little boy, because little boys can be very noisy when they're playing. Uh, something found in a yard would be the dog. A formula would be up here, and it tells the definition of a formula. Uh, something underlined in red is very truly yours. And a signature is Ann B. Johnson. Uh, stitching, real, drawn, or stamped. This is an old piece of embroidered fabric that I had. Something with fins. Well, there's my little fish. A bit of green is this um, plant. I think it's an aloe plant. Um, a dessert item would be this apple pie. Communication, such as a radio or telephone. There's a telephone. Bonus is an office, um, an office supply. And I have a paper clip up there. A key is here in this little envelope. Your handwriting, 
Yes, the Beatles were always an event. Love is all you need. That's my handwriting. Something that represents an event. Well, that'd be the Beatles when they were at, on the Ed Sullivan show. That's the marquee. Uh, winter, well, that would be them. They're all dressed up in winter clothes. Looks like they're outside for a photo shoot with the piano in the snow. Origami or anything folded, that would be my little envelope up here that my key's in. Bonus is something painted, and I painted this. <laughs> that. I'm not an artist. Um, a repeating pattern would be um, this is a repeating pattern. The circles are a repeating pattern. A tea bag cover would be here. Something that sits on a table is uh, the dishes as well as the plant. Something soft is the kitty cat that shouldn't be on the table but is. Numbers written backwards would be one, two, three, four, five. And wrapping paper would be here and here. Now I think we're to where I have not um, shown. So this will be ending up my, my book. Um, this is week number 49. A favorite word, content. Something gray, kitty cat. Something you can sit on is the chair. A drawing or illustration is um, this picture. Something found in your bag or purse. Well, here lately, I don't go anywhere that I don't take a needle and thread. So she's got it in her lap. But if I went somewhere, I'd have some in my purse. Uh, something mechanical would be the clock. Thread or a piece of fabric. That would be, um, there's fabric and lace down here on the bottom. Something heavy, I think, would be Santa Claus's bag full of toys. Something from mythology or legend, well, flying reindeer, Santa Claus. Something that reminds you of the holidays, flying reindeer, Santa Claus. Plant of any color but green, that'd be a poinsettia, this little reindeer sniffing. And the bonus is a book page, and this is a book page. So, that completes that. A portion of a brochure or catalog. Well, this um, came out of a catalog. Or, no, a brochure. Here we go. Rogers Property Management. That's a brochure. Is that a brochure? Yeah, that, that's a brochure. Advertising. Property management here where I live. Um, something with holes. That would be the holes in the side of the calendar. A famous person would be um, well, you know who he is. He's Fonzie. What's your name? Well, can't remember now, but I know it. Um, something sweet would be cupcakes. Coffee or tea, there's a big old thing of tea right here with strawberry on it. Must be strawberry tea. And something from a calendar, that would be this little piece here. So, um, and then this is week 52. This, was, this will be the last week, which is next week, but I've already got it finished. So, um, anyway. Something that jumps, bunny rabbits. A coupon is here. A tree with a fruit or blossoms, that would be this apple tree. Something you're thankful for is my grandchildren. Something that starts with an N is a bird's nest. And bonus is any kind of tag. And... That would be this tag that came out of um, a blouse. And that is it. My book is done. It is finished. 
Henry Winkler. That's my famous guy. Couldn't remember his name. Okay, so that's it. My Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge Volume 3, hashtag 2023 CWP, is complete and finished. And um, it was so much fun. Thank you, Marguerite, for the challenge. Um, I know she's doing it again this year, but I just don't feel like I have um, enough time to do this again this year. So I'm going to bow out for this year. So I enjoyed it very much. If you've never participated, you might find it a fun thing to do. Um, I certainly did, and I'm so happy I did it, and I have a book to show for it. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. I'm going to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And in case this doesn't go up until next week, I'll say I hope you had a Merry Christmas and I wish you a Happy New Year. Either way it goes, you know what I mean. So please take care of yourselves, be safe, be happy, be well, and I will talk to you later. Bye for now.